Anyong asayo. Hola, hello, and kumusta? Magandang gabi po sa ating mga viewers and welcome to Look Beyond the Classroom Virtual Talks Episode 8. Again, this is Sir Alvin Balaba and this time around, mag-usap naman tayo sa isang panibagong tool. And of course, hindi po ako mag-isa sa gagawin nating exploration ngayong gabi na ito. Of course, I have with me the members of the Look Beyond the Classroom team. Sisimulan natin yan at ipapakilala ko po sa inyo ang isa sa mga poging-poging uh, trainer and member of the Look Beyond team, none other than Sir Curvy. Hi, Sir Curvy. Hi, everyone. Hi, Sir Alvin. Wow, napaka-encouraging. Napaka-tapaon <laughs> naman ang ating opening. Good evening, everyone, to our viewers. Maraming salamat for joining us today. I am excited. We are excited to join you guys for a fun-filled night with us. Totoo Kamusta, yan, Sir, Sir Alvin? Ito, Sir. Excited na excited. And of course, uh, I'm, I'm really happy to be with you guys again. Uh, parang it's, it's a sign that today and tonight, I will learn something new. Sir Curvy, how fantastic was your week? Grabe, sobrang bilis ng oras, Sir Alvin. Feeling ko Tuesday lang kahapon, tas kanina, Friday na agad. Sobrang bilis and it was a fun week. Very productive. Maraming natapos despite of uh, challenging uh, tasks sa work. Maging yan. And I'm excited to uh, take a rest on a weekend. Maging anak ulit. Maging kaibigan. Di ba? After maging teacher for five days, I am looking forward to become a friend, to become a, a son dito sa amin. How about you, Sir Alvin? No, sir. It I agree with you that this week was really productive, lalo na, na, lalo na sa atin sa public school. Papalapit na tayo sa dulong ng ating school year. So, marami ng mga forms ang ina-accomplish, marami ng mga preparations for the moving up in recognition, which I'm really excited to finish para magsimula na talaga ang summer natin, sir. <laughs> Totoo. SFR waving. <laughs> yes, school forms are waving. And paunti-unti, sisimulan at tatapusin. Hey, Mr. Kirby, what are you looking forward with our session tonight? Oh, that's actually um, one of the exciting part kasi ang dami nating matututunan, it's gonna be a uh, very visual of uh, uh, learning for everybody. Um, not only um, not only the, the visuals, magkakaroon tayo ng virtual field trip na rare na natin magawa, di ba, because of the pandemic. And Victorian as virtual. well as... Yes, and as well as some fun mobile features that we will feature uh, that we will feature with the team later. Yeah, I have the same sentiments as you, Sir Kirby. Etong tool na pag-usapan natin actually medyo least explored sa sa lahat ng mga tools ni Google. And I hope that everyone has an idea already of how this works. And sa hindi sila magwork kasi for free ito, walang subscription na hinihinge. And just like what you said, this is uh, an avenue to provide us and to give us a way to explore and to conduct virtual uh, exploration of different places in different um, museums. And I know, Sir Kirby, excited ka na rin na makasama ang ating mga co-members and of course our captain ng grupo na ito. Pero simulan muna natin, sabi nga natin, sa ating Rose Among the Thorns ang ating napakaganda ngayong gabi na si Miss June. Hi, Miss June! Hi, Miss June! Hi! Hello, Sir Alvin, Sir Kirby, Nax naman. Thank you very much, Sir Alvin. So, pili ko bawat Friday, ano, na, ano ako, na-uplift ako sa inyong mga kind words. So, thank you very much. <laughs> TGIF! Yes, Miss June. Kayo ba, Miss June, how fantastic was your week? Oh, wow, Nap napakaganda naman ng description mo. Fantastic. Uh, but uh, yeah, aside from being fantastic, productive din actually kasi um, we're also preparing for um, some other no, the training uh, training sessions uh, this coming week. So productive talaga yung um, week natin. Although um, I'm from a private school, so tapos na yung klase namin. So kung kayo public school magtatapos na, kami magsisimula na. <laughs> Yes, Magsisimula so na kami ng panibago. So this July actually will already be the start of our in-service training. So habang nagbabakasyon kayo, kami 
nagpe-prepare na. So anyway, what else? So I was also able to attend the webinar actually this morning about statistical thinking. So talagang yun nga, the word, I, I think the word for the, the, the night would be productive. So it has been a really productive ano, week. Yeah. <laughs> Grabe si Miss June, no, Sir Kirby. Kahit bakasyon na nila, very active pa rin. <laughs> Ang daming ganap, yes. And sharing Kailangan. her knowledge never stops pa rin talaga. Ako. Exactly. Kailangan, <laughs> di ba? Even maski teachers tayo, dapat, ano, awang uh, kumbaga, nino-nurture natin yung alam natin para maibigay din natin sa mga sudyante natin. Ako, no. idol ka talaga, Miss June. <laughs> Ala. <laughs> Thank you. Kaya ba, Miss June, what do you look forward with our session tonight? I... Tulad nung sinabi niyong dalawa, this this app is really exciting. And uh, I think um, to describe it, I would say it has something for everyone. So mamaya, no, when we talk about it some more, um, I will even show you mga those who like K-pop, there's something for you here in Google Arts and Culture. So mamaya na lang. Mamaya na lang natin. Sa yes, business. mamaya natin i-explore yan. And of yes. course, speaking of a fantastic week, Ito naman, let's welcome our fantastic leader of the Look Beyond the Classroom team, our captain of the ship, Sir Adrian Cruz. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Wow. Good evening po sa inyong lahat, sa mga nanonood. Um, happy Friday po sa inyong lahat. And welcome to Look Beyond the Classroom, episode 8 po ng ating uh, virtual talks. Um, ayun, it's nice to see you again, Sir Alvin, Sir Kirby, and Miss June. Hi, Sir. <laughs> kayo, Sir, kayo ba? How fantastic was your week? How fantastic? Um, well, kani- kanina sabi ni Miss June, nanood siya ng webinar, no? Um, ako din, yesterday, nagkaroon ng webinar si Google about, um, um, learn any, uh, ano nga to? Um, uh, anywhere, anywhere School, the Anywhere School ni Google for Education. So ito yung mga updates naman ni Google for um, the, the second half ng 2021 and ano pa yung mga dapat abangan na mga updates and features na paparating with the Google Workspace School. So if you want to rewatch or watch it, uh, watch it. So hanapin na lang po sa YouTube yung the Anywhere School ni Google. So it was just shown um, yesterday. So, ayan, panoorin nyo po yan. And then, definitely, isa sa mga tools na mapag-uusapan natin tonight is part of Google Workspace. Pero, itong tool na ito or application ay hindi masyadong napapansin. Maybe because um, siguro we're focused more on the productivity tools of uh, Google Workspace such as Drive, um, Google docs, sheets, and slides. Right now, um, gusto namin i- siguro i-reintroduce, kasi matagal na ito eh, yung Google Arts and Culture, pero hindi siya masyadong napapansin. Try natin na uh, pagtuunan ng pansin, no? kasi I think this will add flavor to our classrooms, to our online teaching, and also for the others who are um, learners or um, ano ba, Continuous learners, no? So even uh, if you're already an adult, parents, or gusto lang matuto, no? This is a perfect tool for you to explore and yun nga, to, to um, enjoy, discover the rich, their, its rich content when it comes to culture and the other. So hindi ko muna muna masyadong isuspoil. Ayan. So ngayon sinabi mo, sir, na hindi lang to pang uh, studyante at pang teacher. It's for everyone. Actually, yun nga, sabi nyo nga kanina na we are going to make them experience uh, something fun later on. Na sabihin natin as we move along this session tonight. And alam ko, excited na tayong lahat, also our viewers. Uh, without further ado, I will give now the floor to Sir Kirby to discuss to us what Google Arts and Culture is how you can navigate through the user interface of this wonderful tool. Sir Kirby, take it away. 
Thank you, Sir Alvin, and Sir Adrian, and Miss June. Yeah. So we will start um, discussing re regarding um, Google Arts and Culture. And guy nung nabanggit ni Sir Adrian kanina. This is gonna be a wonderful experience, knowing na nasa bahay na tayo ngayon. Even if uh, open na yung mga museums, we will have or we can still have the same ex experience. It's just that um, hindi na natin kailangan lumayo. Diba? We can utilize, we can explore, regardless kung anong gamit nating device. We, can, we will just have to utilize Google Arts and Culture. So to begin with, uh, allow me to share my screen. Go. All right. So, there it is. So, if we want to navigate or if we want to, to go to Google Arts and Culture, we can even uh, we can start searching it in our Omni box. We, we, we type Google Arts and Culture. And then the first option na lalabas sa ating uh, search result, we can click on that, Google Arts and Culture. So, as we can see, this is the main homepage for... Um, Google Arts and Culture, so we can explore a lot of things, museum experience, pictures here, okay? So uh, as we can see, there are a lot to explore here, but for teachers who would like to utilize this tool for their students and to uh, experience it for school purposes, for example, we can add on the link or we can type as well on the link artsandculture.google.com slash project slash learn and i think um it will be shown in our screen there we go so this is going to be learn with google arts and culture this is the other page or this is the other interface that we can utilize if we want to uh, use this in our everyday everyday's lesson sa ating mga students if you want to utilize this together with our students so how do we navigate how do we use this so as we can see uh, there are menu options on the upper right part of the um, screen. So we all, we have there the home, explore, nearby, and favorites. So if we um, click on, on the home option, home menu, it will bring us back to the general page of the Google Arts and Culture. Okay? So we go back again. Dito muna tayo, mas utilize natin, mas explore natin ito uh, as teachers so we can um, allow the students to experience um, what they can learn or what they can see with Google Arts and Culture. Next, the other option would be the Explore menu. If we click on that, we will see highlights. And on highlights, we have here the experiments, the art camera, that is fun to use. Later, we will have a separate session or discussion for this. Of course, it also has 360 degrees videos para sa mga visual dyan. Very helpful ito. Mas ma-appreciate natin yung mga views and places that are available dito sa Google Arts and Culture. As well as street views. Diba? Sa mga gustong mag- uh, mag-move along, move around the places, we can utilize the street view. Also, we have the categories here. In case we are specific with the artist, we can search here for mediums. We can even look for art movements, historic events, historical figures, and even different places if we really want to look for specific places. And if we continue to scroll down, we can explore by time and color. For example, meron tayong gustong balikan from the past, di ba? We, we will just have to look for specific dates or artifacts a history that is also available or possible in this tool and we can search for colors that can guide us through uh, the journey in our artworks next uh, we have here the collections marami tayong makikitang collections if we uh, click on the next part here or the the right arrow ano bang meron sa ating collections these are the materials came from partner museums di google okay so Pwede tayong mamili, we can even explore from uh, international museums, hindi lang dito sa Philippines. Right? It also has editorial uh, portion where it gives us weekly highlights, iba-iba siya per week, and some popular topics that we can read along, lalo kapag may uh, nasa mood tayo na mag-explore or to 
learn more about different um, arts and culture or specific topics. Okay, so that's for our explore menu option. Let's proceed to nearby. If we click on that, yeah, we, we have the left panel here for visit. So this shows yung mga pinakamalapit na museum sa ating area. So in my case, the nearest one is the Philippine Veterans Museum. Although close na siya kasi gabi na. Um, there, are, uh, there are others, the Philippine Army Museums, the Mine Museum, the one in BGC, Pasig City, and Ayala Museum. So this can also be um, helpful, lalo kung we have plans, lalo kung... Uh, papalapit na yung normal setup natin, di ba? Pwede na tayo mag-checklist dito na uh, pag pwede na ulit mag-visit, we can use this as our guide kung alin yung pwedeng mapuntahan agad-agad. Di ba? Thanks to Google Arts and Culture. And if we click on the browse option, um, ito naman yung mga pwede nating ma-explore na local landmarks where it shows paintings, photos. So for example, we have here the Monumento, Praia Grande, Canton River. So the things that we can explore with the help of this map. Okay, next we go to favorites. If you are familiar with Pinterest, it has the same feature, it has the same concept wherein we can save specific um, uh, portion or uh, information, paintings, diba? For, for, for this case, uh, I have saved two items so that I can easily go back in case na kailangan ko tong i-share, kailangan ko tong i-discuss sa aking mga learners. Okay? So it's like the uh, uh, it's like the Pinterest option lalo kapag may pinusuan tayo. Yun yung term nila, di ba? Pag pinusuan, which we will show later as we go along the uh, Google Arts and Culture exploration. Also, we uh, there is option for galleries where we can sort, we can group our um, chosen um Illustration, artworks, or pictures, yeah, it will go to galleries. And we also have the search option, search icon, if you want to, to look for specific um, artworks or experience. And we have the waffle icon for the Google Apps. Now, we move on the left part of the screen where we, uh, where we see or we, where we look for different menus, additional menus, okay? So here we have the four options, four menu that uh, we've discussed earlier. And on the fifth one, we have the achievement. So Google, CC Google, meron siyang um, pampadagdag excitement, di ba? So as we go along use, uh, while using Google Arts and Culture, it has a feature where we can earn badges for every actions. So for example, here I've earned this art inspector because... I was able to zoom in a specific artwork. So, sa sobrang gusto kong makita yung details, I, I tried to zoom in and I earned this Art Inspector badge. Okay? What else? We can even have or we can earn Know It All if we answer quiz que questions correctly. So, if you want to fully utilize or feeling natin nakaka-enjoy kapag na-earn natin siya, we just have to look along the uh, badges that are available. Yeah. Alright, so let's go back. Um, next to achievements are the collections. If we click on the collections, these are all the available materials, artwork, information that we can find with Google Arts and Culture. So these are the materials provided, uh, provided by the partner museums and we can search for specific artworks here. So we, we, can, we can simply just scroll down or for example, meron tayong naaalala or hindi maalala ang na, ang nare-remember lang natin is the first letter, first two letters. We can utilize the A to Z search option. Yan, so ang naaalala lang natin, for example, letter E. So we can click on the letter E option, then we go along, look for that specific material. Okay? And we can also look for map, via map rather. Yan. For us to be more specific, gusto nyo ma-utilize yung sa part ng Europe or sa western part, there, we can go along and search for specific artworks. Okay? Next, the themes. Here. And so, makikita natin sa themes, there are other uh, concepts or topics that we can uh, browse. 
For example, here, It's a Wonderful World. Uh, topics about Barbara Hepworth, even Atlanta, Wonders of Portugal. So, ito yung isa sa mga shortcut na pwede natin gawin in case we went to or we started sa general page ng Google Arts and Culture. We just have to click on the menu option, then go to themes, then look for learn with Google Arts and Culture. For example, lost tayo, hindi na natin matype sa website, uh, sa, sa Omnibox. Let's just go, go to themes and look for learn with Google Arts and Culture. And if we click on that, it will bring us back to the, home, uh, to the page that is suitable when we use this in our class. Okay, next, we're done with collections, themes. We also have here the experiment option or menu where Google provided us for, the, for some experience that we can try. Uh, there are a lot that we can choose here. We just have to click on launch experiment if you want to experience that specific um, event or um, option rather. Yeah, so marami siya dito. We can try it on our uh, vacant time to explore more of that. So if we go back, we're done with experiments. Um, on the lower part there, there are artists, mediums, art movements. These are the menu option or the shortcut options na available naman na din sa pinakita natin sa explore menu kanina. Okay, so nandito na artist, mediums. If we want to be more specific, we can just click on the options here like artist, mediums, art movements, nandyan na sila. Okay, and we also have here the about, me, uh, about menu, settings, view activity, and send feedback. For the setting, settings option, um, if we're not a fan of uh, the badges or kung ayaw natin yung may lumalabas, may nag appear we can simply disable that here in the settings option. Or if we're not really interested, we can delete the achievements, okay? And we also have here the view activity. For example, very helpful ito in case na may hindi tayo maalala na ginawa natin from the previous, for example, class, di ba? Hindi na natin siya kailangan um, in-note sa ating mga notebooks or what because we can access the search history here. So, for example, last week I've searched for these topics. I can just simply click on that so that it will bring me back to that specific um, topic. Okay? All right. So, that's mostly the, the menu option that we can explore. Um, let's go back to the main page of the arts and culture. So, again, we will go to themes. And let's look for the learn with Google arts and culture. Okay, so let's be more, uh, let's explore more about this, lalo kung nandito na tayo sa page na ito. Okay, so if we continue to scroll down, yan, we can see tips for teachers. In case you would like to know more how Google Arts and Culture can help us as teachers, we can click and read the tips here that we can uh, visit during our free time. And one of the best feature that we can utilize is by picking a specific subject. So gaya ng nasabi nila Sir Adrian kanina, ni Ms. June, and ni Sir Alvin, that hindi lang siya pang isa or hindi lang siya limited. It's for everybody. Why? If we can see here, there is option for music, history, chemistry, and different other subjects. So in my case, for example, I am an ICT teacher. I can explore more about computing. So if we try to click on that specific topic, and it will it will show me different and many uh, information resources that I can use in my lesson. So in my case, I am an ICT teacher, and I can share about learning about computing. So again, if we if I want to um, simply remember or access this, I can click the heart icon sa Filipino. Pusuan natin yan para madali nating mabalikan. Yan. We can even share this through different social media platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest. And one good thing about this is we can share it in our Google Classroom. Sa stream niya, pwede na natin siyang ma-share with our students. Okay? So if you continue to scroll or to explore, there, 
we can see several topics like machine and patterns, Apple computers, the first programmer, yeah, si, si Ada. So, for example, we would like to learn a specific topic in ICT, like Apple computers. We just have to click on it, and it will bring us to a specific page where it gives us information. So, in this case, we have the first Apple computers there. And one good thing about here is, tulad sa mga gaya ko na visual, mas naiintindihan, mas na-appreciate yung mga uh, nakikita, mas naiintindihan pag nakikita, very helpful ito sa atin. Yeah, we can zoom in yung mga pictures, yung mga images, and it gives us helpful information here. Diba? Makikita na natin na this is one of the first 50 Apple computers. There, it gives us um, details as well na magagamit natin. Yan, we can use this as a reference and we can even explore additional items. Okay? So, this is one of the best features that we can utilize whenever we look for specific topics. Let's go back. What else we can utilize with uh, Google Arts and Culture? For example, there are history of computer topics here. Yan. So, let's look on the artificial intelligence instead. Okay? So, here, um, since timely and relevant naman ang mga AI, let's search or let's try to look on this. 25 moments that define AI. Yeah, so I'm just sharing these teachers or viewers, sa ating mga viewers, for the perspective of a computer or ICT teacher. Later, there are uh, other things that Sir Alvin, Ms. John, and Sir Adrian can also share, lalo sa mga different um, major or subjects. Yeah, okay? So here, we can even explore topics. Yan, may mga specific uh, discussion dito that we can already utilize sa ating classes, sa ating, sa ating mga online classes para ma-promote natin yung engagement, mas madagdagan yung engagement with the students, lalo na sobrang generous ni Google Arts and Culture sa visuals. Yan, okay? Let's go back. Let's look for probably a video. Ayan, there are videos here. Hindi lang siya puro pictures. We can even play videos here yeah, and that can help us give more information with the learners. And there are, there are more that we can uh, utilize here. Let's see if we can... Yeah. Okay, so basically, ito yung pinakalaman nung topic that talks about the IT crowd or the history of computers. Yan siya. Okay? Last one, if we try to go back again to the main page, one of the best feature that can truly help teachers is this. Downloadable lesson plans are available. But make, uh, I just want to clarify, there are only uh, certain downloadable lesson plans available. Ito yung mga makikita natin dito sa mismo Google Arts and Culture page. So we can explore, uh, let's say here. Yeah, we, we, we would like to explore or learn more about International Space Station. If we click on that, it will bring us to a PDF file or it will show a PDF file of the lesson plan that we can use. For example, here, it gives us uh, a guide on how to use the lesson plans some things that we can use, materials, right? And here, um, some instructions. Let's explore more. Yeah, and so here we can, uh, there are pictures that the learners can zoom in. And one of the good thing about here, uh, one of the good thing about this lesson plan is there are some clickable options here that we can utilize. For example, if we click on this link, it will bring us to this specific page na pwede nating magamit as a reading material with our learners. Okay? So, let's see if we still have uh, some things to explore on the lesson plan. 
Yan, marami pa siya. Pwede na natin siyang maging guide sa ating uh, everyday lesson with our learners. All right. So I think I'm done with the uh, ICT part and for the navigation. Um, let's learn more from Miss June and Sir Alvin and Sir Adrian with their um, specific topics. All right. Thank you, Sir Curvy. Grabe no, Sir. Kung titingnan natin yung interface ni Google Arts and Culture, it's as simple as searching for a specific topic, a subject area, and then automatically all the materials you will be needing will appear right in front of you. So, hindi ka na pahihirapan para magpupunta sa library and sa different archives sa talagang iisa-isahin mo just to have access on the different materials you need. This is just as simple as typing the topic, clicking search, and then it will be provided to you. Thank you, Sir Thank Kirby. You. Thank you, Sir. Thank you, Sir Kirby, for that uh, uh, discussion that will surely help our viewers uh, when truly navigating the user interface of Google Arts and Culture. Ngayon naman po, natako tayo sa mga halimbawa. How you can use this in your classroom uh, for the coming school year or for the coming months while you're still teaching and for sure, it will make your classroom more interactive, more engaging, and more interesting. So let's begin with uh, subject, uh, the subject math to be discussed to us and to be given to us by Ms. Ju. All Take right. Away, Thank you Ju. very much, uh, Sir Alvin and Sir Kirby. Actually, wala na akong masyadong masabi pa kasi kompleto na, eh. kompleto na yung walkthrough ni Sir Kirby. So... Uh, I just be showing some examples nga just to just to parang um, just to show teachers especially bath teachers that Google Arts and Culture also has um, a lot of materials for us no not just for history teachers or for social studies also for math teachers actually um, although um, not all of the topics that we have for math that we need to discuss for the entire school year are in here, you know, and napaka-imposible naman ata nun. So, um, well, I'll just be showing you some of the things. So, um, let me just go to, uh, as you can see, I have my sh uh, screen already shared with you, and I, I am in the homepage of Google Arts and Culture. And again, if I want to go to uh, learn with <laughs> Google Arts and Culture, I just go to the menu icon again, go to Themes, and uh, this has been uh, stressed by Sir Kirby kanina. And then I just go to learn with Google Arts and Culture. And then just like uh, what Sir B said, pupusuan ko to. Kasi I want to be able to go to this very quickly without having to go to uh, the homepage of Google Arts and Culture. So nilagyan ko po ng puso. And this would be uh, already found in my favorites right here. And then if I want to remove it, I can, well, I can do just uh, remove, remove the, the heart, no? Uh, cancel ko yung aking pag, uh, paglalagay ng puso. So anyway, let me click on that again. And uh, every time, let me just say that every time you see the heart um, icon and this uh, share icon, that means you are able to uh, share the material with your students uh, either via link or any of the social media apps that are available in here. And also, again, if you're using Google Classroom in your, um, in your classes, very convenient yung paggamit ng Google Arts and Culture. Okay, and then, so, if um, Sir Kirby has shown you um, computing here as one of the subjects, so if you look at all of the subjects in here, wala pa pong math. Okay, and then um, one thing that you can do so that you can actually be able to um, search effectively for anything related to math would be to just use the explore uh, icon and then just search math. So let me just type in mathematics. So this is just a general, um, general topic. And then all of these will come out. So one of the things that I like about this are the stories. 
specifically this eight ways mathematics advance the art. So this is just something that you can use maybe at the start of your lesson, no? just, to in, just to emphasize to our students that math is not just for the classroom. Um, math is actually everywhere. You can integrate it with your art subject. You can integrate it with nature. So this is one material that you can use when you are um, stressing that. Kasi ka, akala na masudyante, math is... Uh, just something terrible that makes their <laughs> makes their lives hard. Pero hindi. Um, it, it can be integrated with um, other subjects. And in fact, with um, nature. No? It's, um, math is one of the ways that we are also able to understand nature. So there, you can use that. And then what else? Um, of course, um, you can do this. No? Breaking in women in science and technology. Okay, so let me just click on that just to show you uh, what's inside of this? So you will be talking about women, no? Why women in STEM, no? Girl power, and then there. So there are many good things you will see. Um, women in here throughout all of history. So it's a very good. Um, it's a very good motivation <laughs> for all of our um, women um, out there. Okay. So we can, and then we can just go back, right? So that's one. Again, um, how you are, how you will use uh, the resources that you will find here in um, here in um, Google Arts and Culture actually just depends on how creative you are with how you present your lessons. Okay, what else? There are also. Um, there's a museum, but the, there's just one museum that's picked in here. So you can, let me just show this to you. The pegman is there. So that means that will give us a street view. Oh, so this is the museum. So you don't actually have to go, <laughs> go to this uh, place in Portugal to look at this museum. So you can look at, uh, you can view and uh, learn about um, whatever's inside this museum from inside Google Arts and Culture. So, hindi ka da gastos ng limpak na limpak na salapi, no? just, for, just for your internet uh, service. Then you will be able to look at this. What else? So, there's also stuff about astronomy because we all know that astronomy is, of course, related to math, robotics. There's something about Richard Nixon in here. And then symmetry, of course, this symmetry is also related to math. And then there's something about the Northern Renaissance. And then um, there are also a lot of other resources. Probably there's something in there that's about math. That's why um, it came up when you search about it. Okay, so let me just uh, search again another one. So let's say, um, let's be uh, specific with the math uh, subject. Let's say geometry. And then just click on enter. So this would be the things that will come up. So in this, <laughs> there's a, there's an online exhibit entitled The Geometry of Nigerian Hairstyles. So again, it's uh, something good to, to show our students uh, just to, just to uh, let's say, lessen the fear of math. No? So this is something good for them to know as well. Okay, and what else? There are many other artworks in here. And then as you can see, uh, there are, uh, it's all about shapes, solid figures. So it's about geometry. All right. So that's it. I guess, uh, again, um, as math teachers, we just need to explore some more about um, uh, resources from Google Arts and Culture that we can use in our classrooms. But I think mostly we can use this as motivation, as motivation for our students and maybe as additional reading materials for them later on. So this is really good. And um, at the start of our webinar, sir, uh, we, we mentioned that um, Google Arts and Culture has something for everyone. So I just want to show to you, let me go back to the main page. So hindi na puto related sa math, but uh, I just want to show you that um, Google Arts and Culture has something for everyone. So if you are a fan of K-pop, if you go to um, Zoom In, Artwork Zoom, so let me just scroll down. I think I think it's here at the bottom. Okay, so let me just here zoom into masterpieces. So this is where music's biggest names narrate 
famous artworks. Okay, so these are, um, if you're fond of music, then you will, you should be able to uh, recognize some of these. So if you're a K-pop fan, you would know who this person is. So she's from Twice. Um, and then there, Cheyang. And then you can just click. And then, um, well, you, you're you unable to hear the audio. I'm the only one who's able to hear the audio. But she's basically talking about this artwork by Yu Yong Kok. I hope I was able to say that correctly. So that's it. Okay, so let me go back. All right, and many, many other things for us to explore. Um, I'm sure there are still a lot more content that we can use in our math classes in here. So we just need to um, spend time looking at these. And But we guarantee um, your time won't be wasted, you know, mga sir, because uh, we, you always learn something new. And of course, even... Um, even if this is something that you will use no outside of school, peding pedere no just just to ano to para ma improve ang yung knowledge of other cultures as well no so if in the comfort of your own living room or bedroom then you you'll be able to do this uh, very easily so yun that's it for me mga sir thank you very much thank you very much Miss June so. Para sa subject ng mathematics, very useful pa din siya because you can search for the different mathematicians and actually pati scientists, no miss? That's what I was saying. Yes, sir. To yes, sir. That's right. Yung, yes, right. Uh, examples. And Tama. gusto ko yung sabulo, miss. Alam na pag mahilig sa mga K-pop talaga. So uh, I will try that definitely <laughs> later and see what uh, what the video will really offer me later on. So Saka this time around... Add ko lang pala, sir yes, Alvin... Before you proceed, sorry, sorry for cutting you off. But let me just add that even if the subject we're teaching is math, it's always good to inject history, no history into our math lessons. So ito, this is the perfect tool for us to be able to do that. Google Arts and Culture. Ayan. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Miss June. And speaking of history, I tatalakayin ko naman po yung mga examples that you can use in your Araling Panipunan or your social studies classes. Like what Ms. June, Sir Kervin, Sir Adrian mentioned earlier sa atin pong mga social studies teacher, para siyang heaven. <laughs> Nung una ko siyang makita at experience actually when I started to explore, it's like a one-stop shop of all the sources that I need for my classes. Alam naman po natin that teaching history and other social studies subjects is one of the pretty boring subjects like most students say. And through the use of Google Arts and Culture, we can provide a different experience, learning experience, to all our students. Alam naman po natin na kapag text-based ang ginagamit nating uh, strategy, nakatingin lang sila sa mga textbooks, nakatingin lang sila sa mga printed modules, limited yung nagiging experience ng mga bata when it comes to the different topics that we are discussing. Lalong-lalo na ngayon na naka modular approach most um, most likely yung mga i mean majority yung mga public schools yung mga modules natin naka black and white pa so sobrang <laughs> struggle noon na ipakita sa mga bata what these sources are although the the images are provided in the modules and in the textbooks iba pa rin kapag nakikita ng mga bata yung full technicolor full movement ng mga uh, ng 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 full features ng mga iba't ibang places and materials and sources na ginagamit nila sa kanilang pag-aaral. So again, let me just emphasize that using sources, both primary and secondary, are very important when teaching history. And of course, with other subjects as well. Uh, but I would like to emphasize yung, yung, yung availability ng sources na makukuha natin dito sa Google Arts and Culture. It's like, it's revolutionizing the sources that you can get online. Kasi parang even... Technically, i-consider mo tong secondary sources eh, kasi this, these are just images and videos. But with the experience that it will provide you with the 360 videos, and yung pinakita nga rin ni Ms. June kanina na virtual tour, it's like giving you the feels that you are there. It's like giving you the feels that you are part of the story, of the curated stories that are inside the Google Arts and Culture. So let me begin, teachers, with sharing my screen. Uh, actually, I prepared the different tabs already. Thank you, Sir Adrian. So earlier, Sir Curvy was able to mention how you can uh, 
access yeah. the learning with Google Arts and Culture page. So in here, may kita niyo na po yung uh, different subject that it uh, that it offers. So let's go into history. And when you go into history, it will open this interface. So inside here, there are different and uh, actually very substantial yung mga laman ito, different history uh, topics, even and moments that mattered. And what's good is when you click into these stories or into these topics, automatically you will get a perfectly curated material. Why did I say perfectly curated? Kasi hindi lang images and videos ang meron ka. Just like what Ms. June and Sir Curvy was able to mention, meron na ring information na may kita sa loob ng mga topics na ito. So it's simply giving you an explanation of, of what those sources or what those pictures tell you. So hindi ka lang basang na Google image search. Meron ka pang information behind that. So for example, this is about Gandhi, who's a very... Uh, prominent feature or prominent person in the history of India na tinatalakay sa Asian history. So you can make use of this. Also other, and also other materials for preserving Egypt's layered history. You can have it here, mga ancient and antiquity materials. May kita nyo sa lid dito. And it, it, uh, yung, yung partnership ni Google, Arts and Culture, sa iba't ibang mga museums, it opened doors to all these sources that you are seeing today. You can even download history lesson plans. It was mentioned also earlier. Pwede nyo na po yung i-download. Ang maganda sa mga uh, lesson plans nila, teachers, uh, I hope I can uh, see it. Medyo maglo-load na po yan. Yung, yung mga examples, meron ng objective, meron ng activity, meron ng time frame. So susundan mo na lang talaga yung mga uh, ginawa nilang uh, lesson plans. Ayan po, oh. So you can see here, you see some helpful signs along the way. So they e they will even provide you with the links and the resources na kailangan mo as you deliver the lesson. Even questions are included here. And vocabulary, which is very important when unlocking terms. Lalo na sa history, may mga words na hindi natin masyado, hindi masyadong familiar mga bata. They can, they can have that. Also, uh, let me explore. Ito yung pinakita din ni Ms. Ni June kanina, yung virtual tour. Let's say, for example, your topic is about Taj Mahal. So when you click the Pekoy Man, sinabi ni Ms. June kanina, it will give you the virtual tour of the place. So mas powerful pa to kapag yung mga student natin, they have the virtual or the VR boxes or yung mga AR, VR lenses na pwede nilang gamitin to move around. Now, this strategy can be teacher-directed. Pwede si teacher yung pumipindot as you explore the place. And pwede rin po itong student-paced. Pwede nyo ilagay ito sa material in their Google Classroom later on. So, ayan. So, you can see, I can... Uh, ah, okay. So, kung mapapansin nyo, parang bakit ayaw umandar? Kasi sinusundan po niya yung road. Uh, I guess Sir Adrian will be able to mention us to us later bakit ganun, bakit sinusundan yung road kapag nag-virtual tour ka. So, ayan. So, let me just go nearer. Konting-konti na lang. Papalapit na tayo sa Taj Mahal. So, ayan. As you move forward, pwede na kayo mag-explain sa mga estudyante ninyo or sa mga, sa mga tinutuwa ninyo of what this uh, specific location offers or why is this an important part of history. So, as you proceed or as you move forward, you can proceed with discussing the details. Why is it made out of marble? Uh, how much does it cost? Uh, para kanino ba tong place na to? And the rest. So that's one good thing as well. As a history or a social studies teacher, uh, it's giving uh, more ex a, a different experience to all our students. So, alimbawa, kung ang topic mo naman, ang for what? Ancient history ng uh, Southeast Asia. So kung makikita nyo po, meron na silang mga pictures, information, and even videos later on. Yan. And, of course, uh, these images are readily available. Nasaan man kayong bahagi ng mundo, as long as you have your connection to, to the internet, pwede nyo pong gamitin. 
Kung nagtatanga naman po kayo, bakit parang yung example, puro foreign. Paano naman kapag Philippine? Halimbawa, Philippine history teacher ka. Don't worry because Google Arts and Culture also partnered with different Philippine uh, museums. So, halimbawa na nga dito yung Ayala Museum. So, if you proceed uh, with scrolling down, ayan, nakalagay yung mga materials na galing sa kanila. If we click into this, for example, yung Philippines topic, ayan, it will give you an access on all the different diorama displays na nasa loob ng Ayala Museum. So, hindi nyo na kailangan pumunta. Just by just clicking, pwede nyo nang uh, i-tour ang inyong mga estudyante. So, halimbawa, this is a diorama of the Japanese occupation in the Philippines. So, ayan, may kita na ng mga bata. And then, from here, pwede na kayong gumawa ng mga uh, exercises na magsisigurado ng deeper understanding ng mga bata. Kasi, at least, hindi lang sila nakabase sa full text, kundi may nakikita silang uh, visuals. So, kung pwede mo silang tanongin, how would you feel if you are in this situation? Knowing na meron na silang visual representation, nakakatakot ba talaga nung nandito si, ayan, si MacArthur ata ito and other US, for, uh, US armies nung nandito sila sa Pilipinas. And many more. I also agree with what Miss June mentioned na minsan pwede ka maging deer in the headlights eh. Parang ang daming resources, ang daming images, ang daming videos so yung sinabi ni Ms. June kanina na it's up to your creativity. All the resources are here. All the materials you need for your classes are most likely here. So nasa creativity mo na lang yan. Paano mo ba yan gagamitin sa iyong klase? What strategy? What form of exercises you would like to give your students? What uh, uh, huts, yung mga higher order thinking skills ang gusto mong i-nurture gamit ang material na ito? But the good thing is, again, it is free, it is available wherever you are, and it is for everyone, hindi lang sa mga teacher at sa mga estudyante na nag ng history, even for people who are interested with the topic of history. Pwedeng-pwede nyo rin po itong gamitin. And kaya nga nang sinabi nila kanina, you can share this into your different platforms, most specifically with your uh, learning management system, the Google Classroom. So in our school, for example, since ang ginamit po talaga namin platform may classroom, I can share this to my students. And of course, you can do it as well. Like what we always say, uh, the tool is here and the best way to master this is to tinker with this. So good luck teachers and congratulations in advance for having this tool and keep up the good work. Let me just stop my screen and ngayon naman I sorry, Ayan, magbabahagi naman ang um, isa pa nating kasama, of course, Sir Adrian, who will give us uh, an exploration of how you can use Google Arts and Culture with the subject of science. Hi, Sir Adrian. Uh, thank you very much. Narinig niyo ako, na? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, natutuwa ako, no, kasi um, ngayon lang ako makakapagsalita, no? Uh, anyway, sige. Um, I'd like to show my screen with everybody. Kanina ko pa talaga gusto magsalita, pero hinuhold ko lahat ng mga gusto kong sabihin uh, because I'm reserving it sa aking said segment. No? Um, kung nakikita na po ang aking screen, uh, you will see here, nandito tayo sa home page ng ating Google Arts and Culture. Now, Again, this is a content, this is an application of Google na pwedeng-pwede po sa lahat. Unfortunately, kung kayo po ay naghahanap ng something na ready clickable na lang and can easily be accessed right away by just one click, two clicks, uh, unfortunately, hindi po ito yun. Pero ang maganda is that with Google Arts and Culture, you'd be able to look you'd be able to search for whatever content you might be uh, interested in and then na posibleng tumapat sa mga topics ninyo um, along the way no, ng ating uh, uh, subject na tinuturo. Now, maliban po dun sa mga binanggit ni Ms. June, ni Sir Alvin, and ni Sir Kirby, si Google Arts and Culture, meron siyang... Uh, uh, experiential learning element no 
I think that's one of the key words for this application. Uh, experiential learning. Di ba nga ho, sabi, mas natututo yung bata kapag uh, pinapa-experience mo sa kanila ang isang, uh, let's say, isang topic or maybe ang isang, uh, um, what you call this, isang concept through maybe an activity. And since right now we are all here in the Philippines, are doing remote teaching and for the others maybe um hybrid high flex learning so with this one let's try to use and you know take advantage of this tool for them to be able to experience this experience this kahit virtual ang ating field trip now i'll just scroll down no ang maganda dito uh, as teachers try natin maging ano um curious pa din because here along the way you'd still see more like for example if you're kind of bored or maybe want to introduce something different to your class you can introduce google arts and culture games so marami dito na very informative na merong element ng gamification so you might want to check this out now the other one is that when you scroll down um Kung may kita po ninyo, meron tayong mga symbols here. Let's just try to be observant sa mga symbols or icons sa bawat um, topic or category. For example, this one. If you see um, a man no, or what we call pegman. So meaning, each of these topics ay pwedeng um, magbigay ng 360 view or even um, a street view. Ibig sabihin, if you enter this, you can walk around, you can check each spots um, of the area. So let's say if I'm teaching science and I want to give my students a closer look or yung pinakamalapit na example na pwede ko sa kanila ibigay of what um, a space station would look like. So I would give this to them. So kung may kita po ninyo, ito yung itsura ng International Space Station. So for the others or for maybe before, we try to look for videos, we try to look for pictures. But what's good about this is that we give our students the chance to explore on their own. If you can see here, pwede nyo pa to i-zoom and you can even walk around kung may kita ninyo. Hindi din to hindi din to tinipid because if you um look closely or you zoom it talagang high definition yung 360 photo so you can really be um as a student may enjoy mo talaga to lalo na for all those students na very curious um very interested the other one um kung may kita ninyo Pwede nyo pa to eat week. Pwede nyo lagyan ng mga activities. Maybe try to find something that's written by astronauts. Something like that, no? Kung may kita nyo, meron dito, no? So again, it really depends already sa magiging strategy ni teacher. So here, you can really curate. You can really pick what you really want, what you want to offer for your student. So this is just one example. Imagine nyo, kung ganitong activity yung binibigay ninyo with your students for science, favorite na nila kayo. But more than that, yung engagement element with the students, it will really shoot up. So that's only one sample. No? I'd like to go back again or go to the topic yung learn with Google Arts and Culture for teachers. Now, here, if you scroll down, Meron tayo ditong per subject area tulad ng pinakita ni Miss June and pinakita ni Sir Alvin. Si Miss June, dahil wala, yung pinakita niya kanina walang math, she tried to be more creative, more resourceful, she searched per topic. So pwede niyong gawin yun. So for the others na baka ah, wala yung topic ko kasi wala dito, let's just try to check first and you know, try to do some, siguro mga ilang search, kung wala pa din no, um, don't worry, ito ay something uh, still work in progress. Ito po ay nadadagdagan habang matagal. So kung medyo kulang po tayo sa content sa local 
um, local museums or local or historical um, places ng Philippines baka in the coming months. Hopefully, magkaroon. Now, going back to um, the subject or pick a subject category, let's just try to search or look for, let's say, biology. Okay. Now, scroll down. Makita po ninyo, merong Darwin, evolution, um, five natural history trailblazers. Now, itong mga to, pwede nyo ilagay in the first or beginning part ng ating lesson. So, for example, um, gusto nyo maging ano muna, you, 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 um, you, you get to entice first the students by quickly introducing the history of a topic. You can get all your information here. You can show this or maybe you can just get the information no, as part of your motivation. So, napakaganda po. But again, it's not something like ready-made for uh, for you. Na parang ito yung eksaktong para sa'yo. Um, ang, ang maganda dito, binibigyan tayo ng opportunity to be resourceful, to be creative, and to make or collect something for our own. I think that's one of the the nicest features or opportunities that Google is actually giving us. Yun nga lang tayo minsan what we really look for is dapat ito mismo or dapat ito, no? Some, sometimes we look for the exact thing. Pero um, siguro tip lang for the teachers to try to look at the bigger perspective of um, this application or the, the, the purpose of this tool. Now, Moving forward, ang daldal ko po, but uh, salamat po sa ating mga participants po na nanonood pa rin po ngayong gabi. Um, here, if you can see, there's another symbol. Um, bilog na may play video. Now, if you can see, um, the topic here is uh, bring dinosaurs to life. So, ito yung mga topics. No? Now, if you click this, this is a 360 video that you can uh, play to your students. Now, kung napapansin ninyo sa inyong YouTube, if you go to YouTube in your mobile phone or in your um, yeah, mobile phones, meron dun maliit minsan na, na icon somewhere bottom right ng YouTube video na parang um, mask or parang shades. Ganito po yung itsura. So, ibig sabihin, if a video has this icon somewhere here, um, it can be played or watched to a um ano man tawag dito um three uh VR glass ayan di ba nauso po ito few years ago maybe around 2018 2017 and the others they purchase um different kinds of uh VR glasses may mga ganito yung cardboard yung iba naman yung parang maliit na parang uh, pocket size lang that you can, um, let's say, for example, if you have your phone, you can just put your phone here. No? So, something like that. So, that pwede nyong panoorin. Now, ang maganda dito is that, for example, ito ang napili nyong material for your students. This is actually playing. I'm not sure if you can hear the audio. But here, it gives you a different kind of experience. Again, it's a playing video or it, it's a meron siyang audio, no? Pero at the same time, on your own, you can tour. No? So, ganyan siya. So, ito, ready material na para sa inyo. So, ayan po. So, kung pinapakita nila Sir Alvin, meron din silang mga um, tinatawag na cardboard or VR glasses, no? So, yan po ang um, uh, tool or additional tool that uh, you might want to integrate in your classrooms. So again, ang keyword natin dito, experiential learning for our students. They still get to enjoy their classes even if they're still at home. Ayan. So, yan ang isa sa mga example. Going back to this one, scroll down pa ako. 
meron tayong tinatawag na 3D objects naman. If you don't want or napokomplikahan kayo sa pagsuot ng mga ganito, pwede naman yung 3D. So, for example, you want to show an example of, let's say, um, for example, this one. No? Um, antayin lang natin mag-load. And if you want your students to look at this um, ng mas malapitan, no? pwede sa kahit anong angles. No? So you can really zoom it in. They can see, ah, ito pala yung texture ng gantong um, creature. No? So again, experiential learning pa din siya. No? You give your students a chance to, to learn on their own or pwedeng synchronous, no? Virtually nga lang. Pero again, this is something that would uh, really make your students love you, <laughs> love your subject, be more interested, no? Or for the others na, baka hindi masyadong magaling at this subject, maybe through this implementation, through this integration, baka ma-develop nila yung love for this subject. Because you, as a teacher, utilize whatever tools are available online and free. So, ayan. Um, yan. So, mayroon tayong 3D um, images na pwedeng pagpilian with Google Arts and Culture. So, kung may kita nyo, this is just one branch of science pa lang, which is biology, na pwede natin i-explore. So, ayan. So, for each... Um, for each category, merong, ano, merong uh, information na pwede nyo magamit at pwede nyo mailagay sa mga lesson plans nyo. Now, the other one here, for example, I want to make my topic siguro more animated. Let's say, I'll choose here scientific superpowers. Just like what uh, Sir Alvin discussed a while ago, may mga ready-made na lesson plan na tayo na pwedeng kuhanin straight from Google Arts and Culture. So here, you will see it's downloadable PDF material na po ito. Ayan. If you have questions, um, let us know. Type lang po sa ating chat section. Um, going back to the Google Arts um, and Culture, another topic here would be for example, ang pinili ko naman is physics, no? Um, for example, ano bang itsura ng isang uh, spacesuit, no? So give this to your students. Bigyan nyo sila ng experience na could really look at the uh, a spacesuit, no? Um, ganyan po. Um, what's good about this is that you can um, give this material via link. Ayan, paste na lang sa Google Classroom or maybe in your modules na ginagawa in Google Docs or maybe in Microsoft Word or PowerPoint. And then the other one, you have this share icon. You can share it directly to your Google Classroom or maybe if you want to put it on Facebook or other social media um, platforms. There. Ano pa po ba? So, napakadami. Napakadami po talagang pwedeng gawin with Google Arts and Culture. Um, siguro yung ibang parts dito, I'll leave it sa inyo para i-explore. Ayaw namin i-spoil lahat para sa inyo. Definitely, may mga makikita kayo na hindi pa namin nakikita at uh, baka gusto nyong i-share with us. Now, kung natuwa po kayo sa session natin ngayong gabi, I will be sharing with you this one, hindi pa po tayo tapos. <laughs> mga, um, mga ka, ano, ka-teachers, ano ba, mga, sa mga nanonood po. If you like our content tonight, and maybe you took screenshots of this, or maybe have selfies with us while watching the this webinar, you can post it in Facebook or your social media accounts, and Use this hashtag, hashtag, the look beyond experience. So kung na-experience po ninyo ang aming team when it comes to giving more information or strategies 
for teaching or for whatsoever for your professional development, use this hashtag. So hashtag, the look beyond experience. Now, hiningal ako. <coughs> Ayan. Um, kung, uh, kung gusto pa, kung, uh, kung nabitin kayo sa Google Arts and Culture while using your browser, um, ang maganda sa Google Arts and Culture ay pwedeng-pwede nyong magamit ito even with your mobile phones. So whether you're using an iPhone or an Android phone, you can download the Google Arts and Culture in your Play Store or App Store for free and no limitations po. So lahat may enjoy nyo with the content. Now, what's good about the Google Arts and Culture application is that meron pa siyang ibang level of experience aside from what we've seen earlier in the browser. Now, ang maganda dito sa, um, sa application na ito, I'd like to show you. Ayan. So, makita po ninyo, you just get the Google Arts and Culture. This is a symbol or icon for your mobile mobile phones. And ito ang itsura niya if you download it. Now, meron tayong iba't ibang, um, ano ba tawag dito? Um, when, you, when you go to the application of Google Arts and Culture in your cell phone, meron tayong camera option. Now, if you click this, so parang Instagram. So if you're, for, if you're um, an Instagram fan, TikTok or Facebook, no, who enjoy selfies, filters, meron din ganito for Google Arts and Culture. Now, ito po yun. If you click the camera icon, it will uh, give you options such as art filter, art transfer, art selfie, art projector, pocket gallery, and color palette. Ano yun? Napakadami naman. So for each category po, you can take your you can take a picture of yourself and maybe choose different filters. Yung mga filters sa to hindi yung parang mga changing the color, ano ba yung mga yun? Yung mga uh, I forgot yung tawag pero yung filters dito are more educational, informative po. So I'd like to show samples here. One would be if you click uh, for example uh, an art filter so this is an example. So you can take a picture of yourself. And then for each filter that you choose, um, ayan, pwede kang makasama sa background. Pero again, ang bonus kasi talaga dito is that it gives, it has an information na educational. Pwede nyo magamit. Something you'll learn from, no? So dito, imagine doing selfies and learning. No? So dito, May, may learning na element. So, another one also. This one, ba? This is a, ano tawag dito? Um, a, a Japanese helmet or, or artifact na can be used, no? <laughs> Pwede masuot. So, one sample would be a Professor Alvin. The other one would be um, self-portrait. Um... Uh, Vincent Van Gogh. So, pwedeng ganito yung magiging itsura ng inyong filter or something like this. Wearable, no? So, itong, ito yung mga experience, no? Kahit virtual, meron na, ano, sense of fulfillment, no? Ah, natry ko to. Ah, ito pa lang itsura. So, let's try to give this kind of experience with our students. Iba ang effect sa mga batang ito at sa mga generation po ngayon ng mga estudyante. The other one is art transfer. Now, this is also one, no? These are different, uh, I, I'm not sure if it's filter pa rin ang tawag, pero may mga pagpipilian pa rin kayo where you can take photos and can be translated to a different um, art concepts um, na you might be interested more in. So, ayan. So, ito, this is uh, inspired by, uh, I'm not sure kung ito yung Mona Lisa na kinuha ko kanina, pero meron. And then, this one is from Van Gogh. So, inspired by irises. 
no? So ito po makikita ninyo, no? Ito yung mga filters na pwedeng humalo po sa inyong uh, cameras. So these are samples, no? Sayang lang, hindi namin mapakita yung actual mobile devices namin. Pero pag dinownload nyo ito, you can already do it. Now, um, ano pa? Meron tayong art selfie. No? So, art selfie naman, um, it will try to match. Um, hindi ko masabi ko yung pinakakamukha eh. But it's something that it will um, connect to you. Maybe because of your facial features. And then from there, ayan yung mga lumalabas po. Different people who made or who made uh, marks in history and culture. Um, there's also art projector. Ito napakaganda po. Yung art projector naman, merong integration ng augmented reality. Sorry po, medyo nagiging technical na po ba ako, pero kanina, nabanggit ko yung VR or virtual reality wherein we can wear um, yung mga VR glasses. Now, yung AR naman po, sa mga hindi pa po ito na-experience or bago sa inyo, yung ibig sabihin ng AR or augmented reality is that when you turn on your cell phone, sorry, your camera of your cell phone, um, that specific image, for example, na napili ninyo, can be loaded right in front of um, a certain part of your um, room, for example, na nahagip ng inyong camera as if it's part already of your um, your room or space. So, yun, pwede nyong ikot-ikutin din, pwede nyong um, i-explore pa. So, I'd like to give you um, mas, uh, mas solid pa na, ano, na, ex na example or explanation. Now, ito po ay kinuha or ni-record sa aking mobile phone. Um, Ang principle po nito is augmented reality. So, I loaded it. Now, this is loaded inside my room. So, tinapat ko yung camera. Tumubo na lang po ito. So, it's a gallery that I can go inside. So, kung may kita po ninyo, ako yung nag-zoom in using my phone that time. For each, let's say, for each uh, artwork, pwede nyo i-zoom. And then for each artwork, merong details. Napakaganda as if you're actually looking at uh, the exact artwork. The other one is that when you zoom it in, napaka-detalyado rin po nung, uh, nung art. May kita ninyo. Ayan po. Kita ninyo. So, um, kahit i-zoom in nyo pa siya ng malapitan, no, talagang may kita ninyo yung details ng bawat artwork. So, this is one example of what we call augmented reality that you can apply in your mobile phones. Ayan. So, napakaganda po. Um, explore no with your mobile phones. Matutuwa po kayo. Now, the other one, meron pa ba? Ayan. This one is from Miss June. Miss June, ano po ito? The last uh, feature, sir, is the color palette. So this is basically where you can take an image or if you already have an image in your phone, you can just load it in and then um, Google Arts and Culture will, will search for you para other artworks that, has, uh, that have the same color palette. And then you can actually move around the, the color. So ito, originally, it this pink one that you can see on screen. Hindi yan yung napili ni Google eh. But uh, I just move the, the circle around and pick the, the nose para may pink. And then lumabas yung mga artworks sa baba. Marami pa yan eh. You can just scroll down and you can look at artworks with a similar palette as yours. So maganda siya. Um, if you're... Parang ano ba yung application niya if you're thinking of probably um, design aspect of anything, no? Then you parang can yung mga at... color picker, no, Ms. Oo, oh, oh, parang ganun, oh. sir. Like a color picker. So, pinipili yung, um, yun, yun. Artworks um, stored in Google Arts and Culture that have the same color palette. So, ang ganda niya. Maganda siya. <laughs> it will give you a lot of options uh, to look at. Ayun po. So, ang dami, ang dami. So, ito, sa ano to? 
sa ating mobile phones or mobile yes. application. So, kung nagustuhan po ninyo or maybe if you're already trying it in your um on your sheets, no? Um you can post it in Facebook or maybe Instagram or Twitter and you can uh post your selfies and then uh use the hashtag hashtag the look beyond experience and then the other one e tag nyo na din si Google Arts and Culture so Google hashtag Google Arts and Culture so earlier bago kami nagsimula we posted already our um art selfies sa Facebook um sana tama yung Facebook na aking ma-flash no so for example this one um I'll try to close this okay so this is my sample post um ayan so it's already up on Facebook and then use the hashtag hashtag the look beyond experience and the other one is hashtag Google Arts and Culture so dito po um Gamitin nyo lang ito. Later on, we will check this out. And uh, yung pinakamaganda pong post about uh, the art selfies po, we'll feature them in our Facebook uh, page. Ayan, or the Look Beyond Facebook page. So, sali na. <laughs> Tayo makijoy na. So, this is a wonderful application na pwede natin i-explore. Whether for our classrooms or our own consumption. Ayan. Ayan po, Sir Alvin. <laughs> yes, sir. I, I suggest na itry nyo po, teachers. It's simple and it's free. Download nyo lang yung app na huling diniscuss ni Sir Adrian. And you can do these examples that we have here. We look forward to see your outputs and to uh, feature your wonderful artworks or your wonderful outputs later on. So for you to have a look beyond experience, through the Google Arts and Culture. Grabe no, teachers. Napakarami natin na pag-usapan with this tool na sabi nga natin, it's the least explored, yet it offers a lot of things to us. And, exactly. Uh, so, Adrian, will you discuss other services that we are offering for okay. our um, audience? Ayan, I will be sharing again my screen. Um... Ayan. So, if you want um, the look beyond experience ng uh, ano, ng how will I say it? Huh? Kung gusto nyo pa ng uh, ibang look beyond experience, we have yes. different services <laughs> that uh, we can offer for your school para mag-guide pa namin kayo or be able to help you for your professional development. Lalo na po na papasimula na po ang ating uh, klase and then for the other schools ay magtatapos pa lamang um, you can bring us to your um, schools virtually po para i-train kayo we have different uh, training services such as basic Google Workspace training so if you're still new or recently lang naka-acquire ng Google Workspace um, accounts for your school uh, pwede namin kayo train on Google Workspace. The other one would be distance learning strategies. So this is a glimpse actually of uh, what we're offering for distance learning strategies and distance learning strategies 2.0. So more than the applications, more than, more than learning the tools and how to use it for our classrooms and integrated with Google Classroom, um, we really give strategies for teachers. Paano ba best gamitin for science, math, English, Filipino, and the rest. And then more coachings for the teachers. We also have certifications for Google. So that's Google Certified Educator Level 1 or Level 2. Or the other one, if you're still quite new with uh, monitoring or handling your own admin console for Google Workspace for your school, meron din po kami training on that. We also have a, a new um, offering which is strategies in creating video lectures for asynchronous teaching. So ito naman po, if you want to um, utilize videos, like putting your lectures on videos, um, pwede nyo rin po itong uh, e-explore. What else? So we have different um, services 
uh, na in-offer maliban po sa training, we do provide consultancy, repair and services, but uh, we're only offering this in the south area of Metro Manila, Las Pinas, Paranaque, and Muntinlupa, we can service um, your um, laptops. Ayan. Then we have curated content. Abangan nyo lang po ang aming uh, YouTube videos on our YouTube channel called Look Beyond the Classroom. So we have regular episodes um, happening. And then this one also, uh, yung mga webinars, it happens every other Friday. Every other um, Fridays, no? Every other Friday nights. No? So, ayan po. So, yan po yung uh, pwede nyo pang i-explore. And then again, if you're if you want to know more, you can just email us at lookbeyond.ph sorry, um, lookbeyond.ph at gmail.com. I'm not sure if I have it here, pero um, there. I, I'll just type it in the chat section. Ayan po. So it's lookbeyond.ph at gmail.com. So, ayan po. Um, Thank you, Mr. Idea. Thank you po. Thank you po sa lahat ng mga, nanu mga nanood ngayong gabi. Na nababasa ko yung mga comments ng mga um, ating viewers. Ating mga participants to serve. So, thank Thanks you very much for Indian for discussing uh, those services. So, again, if you are curious and want to experience and want to have a first-hand uh, encounter and have the look beyond experience, kindly just email us and reach us to our uh, different social media platforms. So again, uh, we are at the end of our session tonight. And before we leave our audiences, Sir Kirby, any uh, words for our audience tonight? Yeah, sir. Thank you. Um, just continue to explore. I hope um, hindi lang siya pang picture, pang visual. It it has to be an experience. Gaya nung sinabi ni Sir Adrian kanina that we get to uh, share or we get to provide learning yet fun experience not only to our learners but to everybody else na gusto din talagang matuto. Yan po. Thank you, Sir Kirby. Miss June? That's right, uh, mga sir. So ako naman, I just want to say na this tool is here for us to use. So again, it just depends on how you're going to uh, integrate this into your classroom. It doesn't matter what age level you are teaching, no? So from the youngest up to the oldest students, you can still use uh, Google Arts and Culture. So let's just be... Um, creative you know, with how to pre we present our lessons, we strategize and all. And uh, let's just use um, Google Arts and Culture to our advantage, you know, to maximize learning and the uh, experiential learning of our students. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. June. I would like to say that Google Arts and Culture is really a uh, tool that revolu revolutionizes the experience again of our learners. Ngayon po na tayo ay nasa distance learning strategy, it will make them go beyond the four walls of their room or their house. And when we go back to our usual ways, it will help you to provide an experience that will go beyond the four walls of the classroom. Uh, thank you very much po for, for being with us and we hope to see you again uh, in the coming session. Sir Adrian, your words for our uh, audience. Ako naman ano, um, well... For the other teachers, kung, uh, kung na-enjoy nyo po ito, no, gamitin nyo na. <laughs> no, kung baga, it, this is a, um, an AHA app na pwede nyo gamitin. Now, kung medyo hesitant pa rin po na gamitin na to, that's okay, that's fine. Pero kung hindi nyo siya totally gamitin, sayang naman. Napakaganda po kasi ng tool na ito. Again, this tool will be available um anytime so inaantay lang kayo no inaantay lang kayo na subukan ninyo at uh, mapasubok ninyo sa inyong mga students um the other one also um gusto ko mag thank you okay lang po ba batiin natin ng mabilis yes, sa ating mga um nag-comment po for tonight such as um chicken <laughs> sa tamay pronunciation ko ayan po um, you got this. Ayan. The other one, um, just love rafts. Thank you. Good evening po. Good evening. 
Um, sana nandiyan pa kayo, Sir Rafael Katangay. Hello po, magandang gabi po sa lahat, Sir Alvin, Ma'am June, Sir I, Adrian, kamali ako sa pangalan ko, at kay Sir Kirby. Sana nandiyan pa kayo, Ma'am K. Marquez. Ayan. Good evening po. Thank you very much for watching. Miss Moni Jean from GG Bacolod. Good evening po. Thank you very much for sharing this sa inyong mga students and SPA teachers. Um, si uh, Chin Zing. Hello po. Hi sa aking uh, cousin. Ayan. And then we have Amy Bernadas. Ayan. Ang dami po, no? Um, sino pa po ba? Si Ma'am K. Siguro... Um, pakita natin yung mga ano, yung mga comments nila. Ang ganda rin po ito for preschool kasi yung mga visual talagang detailed. I can imagine how my two-year-old kids will react on this kapag nakita po nila yung mga pictures. So the 360 tour and iyan pong augmented reality. It's a very informative tool din po for ESL learners, especially when there are limited resources in English. Ang galing po. Thank you for this po. Um, we also have Lian Zantua. Hello, Lian. Thank you for sharing. So excited to take my students on a virtual tour. Ayan. And then may hinanap ako kasi na, ano, Sir um, Angelo Armas. Ayan. Nice to see you guys. I can't wait how teachers apply this into teaching. So, ayan po. Um, this application, napakaganda. Um, share this with your teachers. Kung napanood po ninyo ito, ikwento ninyo. Kung gusto nyo, ishare nyo po yung link. Or, um, yun, yun po, um, time check pa, it's 9.34. Um, yes, sir. I hope nag-enjoy po kayong lahat sa ating episode. And with that, teachers, and to all our viewers, um, magandang gabi po. Um, enjoy the rest of the weekend. So, and happy Friday po sa inyong lahat. Happy weekend po sa ating mga viewers at sa ating mga teachers. Now, pahinga time. Enjoy your family. Ah, uh, the time with your family and your friends to catch up with all your hobbies and to explore more things that will make you a better teacher and a better person. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Thank you, teachers. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. For Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Stay safe. <laughs>